don't know if I'm ever going to get used to having facial hair. It's, it's really, really weird. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday. Started the day off by going to the doctor to get that done. Had some blood work done. The old timeline's not out yet, but back in May, I think it was May, mm -hmm. back in May I had blood work done, and they said that I had high cholesterol, um, and I had to make some changes, so I've been making some changes. This is going to be a bad example. This is not a good example. <laughs> anyway. The worst example. Literally the worst example I'm about to show you, but um, I, I've, I've made some changes over the past six months, and I had blood work again today. I won't have those results for another week, but I did the blood work today. Now, <laughs> having having had that six month later blood work, I'm rewarding myself with a with something I specifically I don't believe have had in six months, and that is uh, the the chicken egg and cheese bagel. Literally every part of this is not good for me, um, but uh, I haven't had it in a long time, and uh, I finished I finished this blood work, so I'm having it. Dang it! So we're having some breakfast at Chick Fil A. We gotta do a few various things today. We gotta go to Publix and run a few errands. But um, this was the big thing: was my follow-up blood work. And uh, I'm I'm actually really curious to see what happens. You know, we won't get results for a week, but like, I'm hopeful. You know, I haven't made like huge, huge changes. I've tried to make changes that I could, that I felt that I could keep. Not eating eggs every day. Yeah, not eating eggs every day, which cut down a ton of butter. I don't eat butter on toast. Um, I eat different types of bread uh, than I was eating. So like, I switched to whole grains. Yeah, yeah switched to whole grains. Um, so I've tried to make changes that I felt that I could make for a lifetime. I didn't want to do some sort of like fad diet that I couldn't keep up with. So I'm hopeful. I don't know what's going to happen, but um, hopefully I've made a change that brings it below the scary number since I was at the scary number. But also, it's genetic. It's genetic. When Mao's getting eight apples, that can only mean one thing. It's ap <laughs> it means, means Mao's obsessed with apples. No, it means apple pie. Tis the season. And that's not even all the apples we need. Back home and the apples are now placed in this bowl. Ready and willing to be made into a delicious pie with other ingredients used for pies, such as pumpkin and Clorox disinfectant wipes. But we're not making a Clorox pie tonight, no. Instead, we are making white chicken chili. I guess it's not much to look at yet, but this is the recipe. We've made this before on the, uh, on the vlog, and uh, I'll try and remember to put a link to the recipe in the description, or if you're one of those people that really likes to pause the video, there you go. Um, this is something that we had planned to make, I guess last week now, right? Yeah. Because we had made three um, hearty, warm meals for the cold weather. The pot roast, the jambalaya, and then this was the third thing. And we're not getting around to it until tonight, but we're finally getting around to it, and I'm really excited about it. Um, chicken broth, green chiles, oregano, which is as we learned recently, the Sprite of the Spice World. I'm excited, Mel. This is going to be a good dinner. Are you going to cook? You're going to do it. Because i got to wash the beans. Yeah, sure, okay. Looks good, Mal. Yeah, you did all the work. Thanks. I mean, I, all I did was follow directions, but... That's all cooking th I is. I mean, that's all cooking is. Um, yeah, so we got 15 minutes, and then we can enjoy it. It looks great. This is seriously one of my favorite things uh, for us to make. Um, Do you prefer this over red? Uh, kinda. I think it's only because I just really like chicken Okay. over beef. And, like, some people are like, this isn't chili, there's no tomatoes in it. It surprisingly feels a lot like a chili, even though there's no tomatoes, there's no beef. Yeah, and, and I, I do like the beef chili. I do. And some, and I don't know, they're not replaceable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they feel different. 
-hmm. Like, they're both chili, but, like, it's not... It's not the same thing, and some at certain points I'm going to crave one over the other. But right now, this sounds really, really good. As a uh, as a little aside, Mao also made um, what we hope will become cold brew coffee. Um, well, it's it's our first foray into that. Mm -hmm. We're going to probably try it tomorrow morning for breakfast stream. But uh, we bought some some coffee beans and coarsely ground them at the store because uh -huh. there's a machine to do that. And then put it in a jar with water, and then after eight plus hours, it should be cold brew. And then we'll just strain it tomorrow and drink it. Mm -hmm. Maybe adding water. We don't know what the ratio should be, so we're going to figure that out. Um, also, our, um, our landlord was here earlier to take a look at the fridge because we've been having that weird leak. Uh, not exactly sure what the problem is yet. Um, and strangely, when we pulled out the the refrigerator, there was no water underneath, so that's the weird part. Like, you'd think like underneath would be totally soaked. It yeah. was just like what we saw up front. Yeah. There's no stains, there's no water, the water line is dry um, for the ice machine. Yeah, I don't know. Everything's cold. Yeah. I'm real confused. I'm not really sure, um, you know, what's going on, what, what's wrong with the... Uh, the refrigerator, but uh, I mean, if all it's doing is leaking a tiny bit of water in the morning, it's not awful, but it might be indicative of a bigger problem that's going to show up at some point. But I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. How is it, Mel? It's good. It's just real hot. It looks really hot. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I think I had mentioned yesterday about some hard drives. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go pick those up there at my parents' house, um, and we'll we'll talk about those soon this week. Uh, they have a very important purpose, uh, you know, for for us and for our our content. But I'll be talking about that soon. Did he kept just climb up there even though Sagan's already up there? Mm -hmm. But you can't. He was already there. He was there before you, pal. You can't just jump up there all willy nilly like that. I mean, you can. It's just rude. Oh, there's going to be a fight. Kepler does this a lot where Sagan's already in a place, and Kepler will go up there with him. I think in, in his, you know, in his mind, he wants to be close to Sagan, and Sagan's like, dude, this is clearly enough room for one. And Kepler's like, we can make it work! And then they fight. And then usually, it ends in this. Just like a little stalemate, where everything is fine again. Cats are really weird. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?